so hi all this is sachin sachin vc welcome back to my youtube channel uh, sachin so this is a new playlist uh, it's regarding family creation actually some sort of advanced family creation actually i made some videos regarding the basic steps that i will post in the description box you can check it out once so let's start and in the first video in the family creation playlist we are exploring the nested families first of all what do you mean by nested family nested families are families inside another families and in a single family file it is having more than two families are loaded into the project so that if you load the family into a project mean it will be behave like a single unit and why we are using these kind of nested families why because uh, the family is having the repeated elements on that time we will prefer the nested families and sometimes some complex geometries that we are the that we want to control as a world to define its position means that time also we will use the nested families so let's start with then one example uh, so right now i am creating a family from the template so i'm clicking new and go to the metric generic model as a template so don't want me make any confusion go with the metric generic model and click open i'm saving the file as levy tip okay and i'm keeping the backup as one and save and for example my counterpart required a lavatory compartment and he mentioned the manufacturer for the faucet sanitary dispenser and the lavatory thing he mentioned the manufacturer and which components he is planning to uh, add so based on the owner requirement i check in the both manufacturer site as well as the beam check site and i downloaded all the uh, revet files that you can see here the lavatory the sanitary dispenser and the faucet so i just need to add thing file all the families as a combined unit for that one i'm go to the rivet which i saved right now and go to the create tab go to the component and load family i'm just loading all the families from the respective path click open and i have loaded all the path and i'm keeping one reference level as well as 3d view the first thing is i just need to low add the lavatory box so go to the component the short key is cm just click on the cm and just add the lavatory box and using the align option i'm just aligning so i have added the lavatory cabinet so right now i had one first item so next is the sanitary dispenser for that one go to the create tab component I'm loading the exact thing and I'm placing here so I have placed it like this and next is the faucet thing for that one also go to the create tab component select the faucet I'm placing somewhere here okay so it's on here actually so I'm just aligning using align option al is aligning to here so you can see it's aligned so right now i have added the faucet center dispenser and cabinet so all the things are three separate rivet files and i'm i'm grouping it as a combined one as a one rivet file so this kind of family is known as nested family and i'm saving this file and i'm trying to load create a new new project I'm choosing system default metric click ok so I am loading that thing into the project load into project so I am placing here go to the BX coordination so you can see the, all the things I made in it as a sing single family file so right now i have added the families and i placed four instance sorry five instance here uh, so actually in the rivet file we have three separate rivet file but coming to the project it is a single unit that is known as nested family so one of the main advantage i noticed from the nested family is if the client instructed to follow 200 mm 
I'm telling a case study 200 mm from the edge to the center of the faucet that time if you are using a normal family means we need to adjust for the every instance we need to go to one of the family and we need to adjust and second thing also we need to adjust third thing every instance we need to update but coming to the next set family if we got some some sort of update means go to the family and just add the dimension di from this point to this point and adjust as per the client requirement and load into the project so all the family got updated why because uh, the reason is we use we are using the next set families so i hope you understand the purpose and concept so try it out once and let me know your feedback in the comment section so this is sachin from sachvim channel so thank you guys bye